Hey there! So, it seems like VLC Media Player is giving you a bit of a trouble and refusing to cooperate? No worries, I've got you covered. In this guide, I'll walk you through simple fixes to get VLC back up and running smoothly on your computer. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Solution 1. Select the proper video output API. Open a VLC Media Player. Next, click on Tools from the top bar. Then, navigate to Preferences from the drop-down menu. After that, switch over to the Video tab. Here, click on the box next to Output. Choose OpenGL Video Output API from the drop-down menu. Then, save your settings and check if the issue persists. If it does, come back here, select Windows GDI Video Output and save again. Give it another shot and see if that does the trick. Solution 2. Disable Hardware Decoding in VLC. For this one, fire up VLC Media Player on your computer. Then head over to the top bar and click on Tools. Next up, select, select Preferences from the drop-down menu. After that, switch over to the Input Codex Input slash Codex tab. Now simply choose Disable from the drop-down menu for hardware accelerated decoding. Finally, hit the Save button. Now give it a check and see if the issue has been resolved. Solution 3. Reset Preferences in VLC Media Player. Open VLC Media Player once more. Next, click on Tools, then select Preferences from the drop-down menu. After that, hit that Reset Preferences button and click OK. Your settings should now be reset to default. Give it a whirl and see if this resolves the issue. Solution 4. Increase File Caching. Fire up VLC Media Player yet again, then click on Tools at the top. Next, select Preferences from the drop-down menu, check the All Boxes, check the All Box. After that, click on Input and Codex from the left side menu. Then scroll down to find the File Caching option. Now increase it to 2500 or more. Save your changes, your player should now be good to go without any hiccups. And there you have it folks, that's how you tackle the VLC Media Player not working issue on Windows 11. If this video has helped you out, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to drop a like. And if you have any kind of questions, then please ask them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.